crossovers. They're pretty much what they sound like. You take two cars, mix them up and come up with a new car. Mostly done to attain the functionality of both cars in one. And today I'm at Taj Land Zen to witness the launch of yet another crossover. This time it's something different. It's nothing that we've seen before and the only thing that stands between me and that car standing there is that door. I'm just gonna go open it and find out. Volvo as a brand has never been a direct rival to the German car manufacturers, but it's been in the game for about five years now. With the S60 cross country now, they've had a stronger chance for somebody to consider it over a 3 Series or a C-Class or an Audi A4. Glance at the side of the car tells you that Volvo is very serious about the cross country attack. At 200 mm ground clearance, it's higher than all German soft road entry levels, so it's higher than your X1, the Audi Q3 and the GLA, which doesn't even get a four wheel drive. This gets the Halix all-wheel drive which can give you a 95 5% power split on your tarmac and 50-50 on off-road. So it's definitely a capable soft-roader. S60 sedan that came with 135mm ground clearance and 17-inch rims. With the increased ride height, they've gone up on size of the rims too. This has 18-inch rims. Specially chosen rubber from Michelin 235-50 aspect ratio tires will make sure you can glide through snow, sand, rough roads, potholes, whatever you wish to drive your car on. They also get these five scuff plates which make sure you don't damage your car in case you bottom out somewhere. Generally, when you're getting into a sedan, you really have to bend and sit. And in an SUV, you really climb. That's not the case quite here because you're getting the best of both worlds. Now, this is a familiar looking dash. They call it the floating console. Like all Volvos, the dash is tilted towards the driver to make you feel special. And there's a whole lot of buttons here. All your features can be controlled using the rotatory knob here and one on the steering wheel. So you've got the button to control your camera, front and back. You've got a button to control your hill descent, parking assist, and then there's a button here which will drop the headrest down so that you can reverse with more convenience. Another interesting bit of this interior is the TFT screen speedo, which depending on the driver's mode lets you choose between eco, elegant and performance of how would you like to drive and that changes the display on the screen. Now it's a Volvo and it's known for its safety. So needless to say, this is packed to the brim with safety features, right from the whiplash system to the two-step airbags and the SIPs. Before I step out of the car to talk about the exterior, I really have to give a special mention to these seats. They're so well contoured and the bolstering is so aggressive that you pretty much feel like you're sitting in your home sofa. So what lies in here? Well, a 2.4-litre diesel motor that has 188 bhp and 420 nm of torque. It's mated to a 6-speed automatic gearbox with an all-wheel drive system and that's the only configuration on offer. It might not have a snob value of a German car, but has more functionality, is more purpose-built and has the safety of a Swedish car. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your host Sharon signing off. Until next time, goodbye, take care. So I'm going to go right there and find out what stands behind. <laughs>